As I meditate on John 15:18 to 21, I am struck by the somber tone of Jesus' words. He tells his disciples that the world will hate them, just as it has hated him. He warns them that they will face persecution and opposition, and that they will be rejected by those who do not know God. It's a sobering message, and one that can be difficult to hear. We all want to be liked and accepted by others, and the idea of being hated and persecuted can be frightening. But Jesus reminds us that our ultimate allegiance is not to this world, but to God. And if we are following him, we can expect to face opposition. At the same time, Jesus assures us that we are not alone. He promises to send us the Holy Spirit, who will guide and comfort us in our trials. And he reminds us that our suffering is not in vain, but is part of God's plan for our lives. As I reflect on these words, I am reminded that following Jesus is not always easy. It requires us to make difficult choices, to stand up for what is right, even when it is unpopular. But it also brings great rewards, as we experience the love and peace of God in our lives. And so, I am challenged to embrace the difficult parts of my journey, to trust in God's plan for my life, and to be a witness to His love and mercy, even in the midst of opposition. I am reminded that I am not alone, but that God is with me every step of the way, and that His love will never fail. So, let us take heart in Jesus' words and be encouraged to follow Him, even in the face of opposition. Let us trust in the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen us, and let us be a light in the darkness, shining the love and compassion of God to all those around us. May this deepening of faith transform our lives and bring good changes to those we encounter. Amen.